Here is another next level screwdriver. This comes off, also this comes off. So that's cool. What's in the handle? There's a two buttons, you press on it and lift this out. Wow! And you have these different attachments. I really like that small one for the household. I'll probably be using that one a lot. And then put it in, you just push it on both sides right here. And then it goes in pretty good. And also it's adjustable. Wow, that's cool. You see, you can really make it kind of short. Oh, slide out. There you go. And put this away. That is definitely one of a kind screwdrivers I've ever seen. Okay, like this, it's not gonna come off unless you press it. But also this is kind of cool because you can hold it and spin it, you see? So there's a dual purpose right here. This end is kind of uh, spin, you see? You can just kind of press it onto the uh, palm of your hand and spin it with the fingers. That is very unique. Also, if you need to adjust this, press it and pull this out and you can adjust the length of it as long as this or as short as this. Very interesting screwdriver. I really like that a lot. Got it here another pretty unique camping fork. A spork, I should say. Boom. And on that side, we have a pretty decent knife uh, and a bottle opener. I think it would have been better if there was a can opener. You can open a bottle pretty much with anything. So that's kind of interesting. So looks like there is a whistle on that side. Very simple, but super cool. It's comfortable. That whistle actually makes it a uh, really nice hold in here. Solar inflatable lantern. Let's see how it's inflates. Oh, you just kind of fold it up. That's it. You don't even have to inflate it because the way it's built from, you see this real like plastic baggy material. Boom. And there's a on and off switch. Very interesting. Couple of uh, moods. And flushing. Probably going to be using the low setting most likely to conserve the battery. But yeah, super unique, obviously, pre-charge it before you use it. And it's self-inflating. That's cool, you see? Just lift it up and it inflated and just build it into a square. Boom. Also, this is a Velcro, so you can adjust it wherever or whenever you fold it. Boom, you can still turn it on and have a flashlight like that. And whenever you, you can clip it in into something and walk like that. And whenever you're charging it, you can clip it into the backpack and hike with that. Got it here, another folding camping pot. Let's see what it's all about. So it looks in like that, looks pretty nice. And it has a heat distribution item. Open that, let's lift this handle, looks like it comes with the instructions and everything and it says Teflon, so Teflon what you don't want to do is overheat it because the Teflon will uh, melt off, so, but it is pretty cool, pretty big camping pot and you can close it like that and pour it out by holding it or you can even hold it like this, have a strainer very interesting and whenever you're done with it just lock it in and the handles will hold it together this one i think is pretty new invention design whatever i guess the pot's been around for many years this is more like a new design foldable one got it here miniature ball pump and it tells you what color is the ball volleyball yellow a green sake and basketball red where you approximately want to do it. Let's see if it actually pumps it up well. So the ball is half empty, the swallow ball. Let's see how long it will take. It's pretty small, so it's going to take a while because it's so tiny. Very, very soft pump. And boom, in the middle of the yellow. There you go. 
very nice tiny pump that's definitely something i never seen before i'm used to really big pumps there is your standard box cutter this one one of the cooler one that you can uh, press and hold and cut it and adjust the setting just don't forget to put it in lock well this one is way cooler this is a four-way box cutter just press it and boom and if you need it bigger lock it this way and then gravity falls then same thing here just press it and lift it need it bigger lock it you see this one is more of a serrated blade and then gravity fall and then right here tells you how to do it just press it and lock it you see it and then a little bit more boom and then if you press it and try to take it out it will not fall out for you to take it out you'd have to lift this up then you can take it out and flip it over or whatnot so there's a little tiny slit you just put it in and then lock it in now it's not gonna come out and there is one more just lift it boom you got a hook that's pretty awesome you see it's not gonna come out there's a shorter longer so for cutting shingles what people been telling me about this blade right here very unique blade i never seen them till recently but i have discovered there's quite a few different blades and there's a pocket clip and on both sides easy to open it so there you go very unique little knife uh, i really like it so one two then flip it down and if you need to release it you see it's not gonna fall out unless you open it like that such a unique knife and i think i forgot about one of these knives to tell you what it is you see how this sharp edge let's see this one is like not a sharp edge kind of unique different type of blades i had no idea they were all different okay which one is missing now got it here another pretty unique mini fire pit or pot holder whatever you want to call it mini stove so one two three and keep on going you see how it just builds together into this little uh, stands so just keep on getting one from up one from the bottom and connect it together and we're gonna get the tension so it's going to stay together really tight so one more and one last one right here boom and check this out this is pretty liftable once it sits it's very sturdy isn't that cool so first of all if you had hot so first of all if you had hot fires you can so First of all, if you had hot coals, you can set that on the hot coals and put your pot on top of it and boil your water or whatever. Or you can use dry fill like that and boil water. You see how there is a folding stove you could have or this one. Let's tie it out. So there is my fire pit and look at that. Holds little pans and pots really easily. So I fill tablet, let's light it up. Okay, let's put the camping pot on top of it. Looking pretty beautiful. See what happens. About to boil, let's check on it. Oh yeah, flaming pretty good. And we got the boil, pretty cool. I just think the design is very beautiful. Okay, it actually have a turn a little color. Uh, so let's take it apart. Again, highly tensioned. Um, it'll be a little dirty, depends what you use, what kind of fill you use, sometimes it'll get darkened, but it looks kind of beautiful, you see that colors to it, you can wipe off all that uh, burn spots, and everything else will be pretty clean, it kind of looks even better once it's been cooked a little bit. So you put it together, look at that, it's so tiny, it goes into awesome holders that it's also provided. Obviously, wait till it cools off. Boom, little pocket grill, definitely fits you. The size of a bullet, maybe even smaller. This one is also highly adjustable. Got it here, a couple of uh, world's smallest camping stoves. Wanna 
put them to the test, see which one is better. I like that holder. Boom. So two very tiny little stoves. This one a little bit smaller, but almost the same size. This one a little bit more flimsy, but once it sucks in, it's pretty solid. And this one I kind of like better because it uh, doesn't wiggle around everywhere. Okay, locks in, boom. Pretty much the same size, a little bit different design on the actual burner. Let's see how they do. We'll start with this one. We got it here, the big camping propane. You can use it with a small one, but whatever. Goes on really good. Does not lose any gas at all. Wow, that's pretty solid. Okay, let's turn it on. Interesting. Wow, that's powerful. And also, highly adjustable. You can really love it. Check this out. It's almost like a candle. Barely burning. And then you can... Oh, that's too much. Highly adjustable for sure. Like a jet. Pretty awesome. Okay. Now I'm gonna take it off. Let's see how the other one looks like. When you take it off, I did not hear any fizzle and so high quality. Now let's see how this one does. Oh, this one did have a little bit of fizzling. Not a start, I guess. Okay. This one is also highly adjusted. I would say this one a little bit more sensitive than the other one. But it still works just fine. Look at that. Looks like a jet. Very powerful. And you can really simmer it. Wow, these things are pretty cool. And look, it almost looks like a candle. Tiny little candle. Yeah, highly adjusted. And when we take it off. Not bad. Very nice stoves. So if you're looking some, for something lightweight for hiking, these things are pretty cool. Versus the new lighter. Very powerful. Got it here, three more most powerful torches. Check this out. They're even more powerful than before. They're pretty powerful out right here, but now I think it's a really cool design. There's a carbon fiber with that kind of green. I do like that kind of grill over here, but from what I see, this one's a little bit more powerful and more reliable. You see it turns off quickly. And to adjust it, you just go up and down right here. Also, I like it how it shuts off the gas instantly. Versus the older design. Eh, it shuts off the gas instantly too. But the flame not as big. Let's turn off the light. So new design, look at that flame. Both very powerful, but the new design is way better. On the old design, there is the adjustment right here and right here. Let's figure it out which way we got put. I don't see much difference. Actually not doing much. So as you can see, this new one is totally upgraded. You can see a huge difference. I kind of like the black one too. So powerful, check this out. So, maximum. And also you can lock it, boom. And you don't have to hold it. And you can just unlock it and let it go right here, you see? And lock. So lots of cool features. Beautiful, slick design. And now aluminum can test. Instantly, look at that. One more time. 
Look how red it gets. Old lighter. Not bad. Versus the new lighter. Very powerful. That thing is so much more stronger. Okay, one more comparison. The old design, the new design. Big difference.